Exactly. Boom. Okay. We are recording. Um, let's go live. Come on. Come on. It says we're live, man. Yeah. Look at that. We're, in, we're on the instances. Dude, we're on the instances. Horrors yet unseen. Oh. It started live. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I got to play the music. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, we're totally live, Welcome dude. to Horrors Yet Unseen, the podcast where we assign each other horror movies to watch and then talk about it so our spouses don't have to listen to us go on and on and on about scary stuff they don't like. I'm Zach. And I'm Steve. Let's talk about some scary movies. <clears throat> By the way, there will absolutely be spoilers in this show. You have been warned. Oh, What's Zach. up, people? <laughs> What's up, Steve? Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Technical <laughs> fun. <laughs> no, we just opened a door. It's fine. Into the, I know. Into the netherworld. Just to open that another one. I mean, this is the day to do it at the end of the day, right? Yep. This is the, yep. in, yeah, this is the day to do it. Uh, to open up extra doors? Yeah, I mean, this is what, what is it like the, uh, the pathway between this world and that world is. Oh, is, the, the veil is the thin. veil is thin. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah well, welcome to our that. seance. Welcome. Uh, yes. Sam Hain or whatever it's called. Yeah. In, in the, in the Ireland's. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, so far, I am the only one on this live stream. No one else is on yeah, it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's their fine. loss. It's their we don't loss. Want else. The the day. We don't want anybody else. It's just for us. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Cool. So, uh, we're going to, we have about, apparently, um, Instagram shuts us down in an hour. <laughs> oh, we stuff. literally actually have an hour. Yeah. The thing I read said that we have about an hour and then um, Instagram will t- cut you off for most accounts quote unquote but i don't know what that means so what the heck is about an hour whatever anyway be an hour or don't be right pick it pick one losers okay well then um (laughs) let's cut to the chase let's go all right (laughs) let's dive in Uh, all right um why don't you give us a, a tell us what's so going on today zach well um uh nothing crazy I took a PTO today because, uh, you know, it's a national holiday and, uh, or at least it should be, it's, it's the, you know, it's the best day of the year. And, um, I don't really need an excuse. I have PTO and, you know, suck it. And so, uh, but also if my boss is watching, what's up, Mike? <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, I watched, uh, I watched two, I don't really need two this. horror movies. I watched three horror movies. I tried to watch three horror movies. Um, and that was literally my day. That was the day. And then I went. Today? Yeah. And then I I went trick-or-treating with my niece and my nephews. And that was that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to Spirit Halloween. I realized uh, today that I had not been to Spirit Halloween. Um, I haven't either. At all. So I was like, uh, well, I mean, if you go tomorrow, everything is 50% off. So I will be back. Um, nice. And uh, so, yeah, you know, that's basically my day. I, I, I ate lunch. You know, <clears throat> so, um, did I mean, do I need to know more detail? Or? No, I mean, I'm, that's basically, I could, I could, I could continue <laughs> filibustering, but that's it. That's really my day. Yes, yeah, I didn't you? really care what you were doing today uh, at all, oh, but wow, thanks okay. anyway. Um, I was, <laughs> okay. you asked me how, <laughs> what, what I did today. Didn't no, you? I said, what, what, what do we do? What, what, what's going on today? What are we doing in our, our podcast, Zach? Steve. You're the, the great leader and, this... and the organizer. Yeah, except for my brain, apparently. Um, so we're going to start off with news and we have yeah, at least one guest, news. right? Yeah, right. there you go. Okay. Well, got a guest coming. We do have a guest coming. Yeah. 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 We got and some then, news. Uh, we got a guest. And then we have what we've been watching. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and then we're, well, we're definitely going to start this podcast with some useless facts about Zach's day. Oh, well, I mean, though, you know, 
we all love you so thank you for that it's yeah, important I, I appreciate that hey look at that we got two people watching it's you and me <laughs> we're i love that we're doing the live while we have the live on yeah well you, you know gotta gotta make sure things are working right that was my that was my thinking it's fine it's weird because like what we're, we're like if like 10 seconds off or something we are we're still yeah it's fine we're watching the past <clears throat> yeah so yeah it uh i i have down here steve that you watched the movie Trap, and I am very eager to know what your thoughts are in this movie, since you did not seem to like it in the text message, and then also you um, gave it a one star on Letterboxd. I'm it got one star, because it, it's lucky it got one star. Oh, wow. So I got, we got to go. We got to get deep in this. <clears throat> Trap. Trap. is it's a trap wow it's like it says here there's a movie that's cool yeah and like Shyamalan whatever yeah and it's got this dude that somebody for some reason said everybody's excited about him being back in movies mm. whatever yeah and then um you watch it and you're like I've been trapped like I've I had a, a two hours sucked out of my life you got bamboozled you can't get it back I was very disappointed in this movie. I was like, well, actually, no. I was. I knew it was going to be tr trash going into it because. Wow, you did. Uh, uh yeah, because it's I'm not showing along. I mean, it's. Oh my gosh. The dude had two good movies in him, and he used his he he shot his wad or whatever they call. Was that like, that's that's kind of crass. You shouldn't say that, right? He I don't know if his, we're gonna get. We're definitely not gonna he, make. Any he money threw away his shot. Maybe that he took like not gonna throw away my shot. Like you know Hamilton. But he, Hamilton, yeah. <laughs> okay. Back up. I think that he had, I think what's happening with him now is he's so famous and so popular mm. that he just says, I want to make a movie. And they say, here's a giant, giant checkbook. And they don't like, so here's the things I have a lot of notes on this, but I'll kind of try to make it quick. <laughs> so, That's fine. Let's get, I was texting let's you. I'm like, it. I was texting you all these complaints. And, and uh -huh. after a while you'll, you're like, save it for the pod. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to hear it in the moment. It's, it's what makes me think that we could, Find the right movie to do some sort of uh, horrors yet unseen commentary on a movie, like live watch a movie together and record uh, our thoughts while the movie is going on. And then someone could, you know, MST3K dub it over the movie as they watch it and listen to us incoherently ramble and whine about a movie um, for an hour and a half. Uh, I don't know what what uh lucky soul would ever want to do something that foolish um but maybe in season two of this podcast we can we can do something like that anyway i do want to hear all of your thoughts yeah season two i would like to do some more uh live stuff and whatnot <clears throat> so uh I, I found an article uh while i was watching this movie i'm, I'm like uh, uh oh shelby's there Should we let her in? i mean if you want to do the Shelby segment right now, we can. I mean, she's right there. But she's saying something I can't see what she's saying. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. I have to Is download it? the app. Oh, my goodness. You didn't have to bring me in now. We can wait. What's up? Hey, hello. It's good to hey, see you. Hey, hello. Hi. Um, you, you could have finished having your conversation. This was really not like necessary to okay bye it's <laughs> so mean sorry where you're back what's up oh that's fine thanks thanks you're really you're really fortunate um that you did that because i might have uh made a uh, inappropriate gesture at you um, Ooh. that's fine this is Man. a family show I, I know it's a family show. I'm really trying to rein it in. I promise. Um, nothing too offensive. Uh, Got it. Sensitive ears today. Yeah. Um, Steve, it's really nice to meet you. Hey, um, Shelby. Hi. Yeah. I feel like uh, I've heard a lot about you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just, uh, you, you know, all good things, mostly. Um, so <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it's <laughs> a real honor to be on your beautiful show that you have um about horror movies 
Um, <laughs> and uh, it is beautiful. Thank you. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, truly moving. Very um, cutesy. Very cutesy. So demure. <laughs> um, so wonderful. Um, yeah. I really want to give Zach credit uh, because I think that he is the reason why I'm. Well, he's the reason why I'm listening to your podcast. Not gonna lie, but um, why I've gotten into like horror movies this year. Hmm. Um, yeah, you weren't before. I'm sharing no, the trauma. Not. No, no. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Everyone, I am the one who um, made out with their boyfriend watching Slither. That's her. That's, that's, that's the show. We me. still need to do that that movie. <laughs> we we have to do that movie. I yeah. I had just watched that movie when when Zach told me that and I laughed so hard oh my word I know the timing couldn't have been better it really it was like divine intervention it was just meant to be I don't know um yeah Yeah. Uh um anyway uh yeah so ever since then you know I just couldn't bring myself to uh She's not a horror film person um there's more to it than that but uh you know just didn't like how they made me feel. It's a little too empathetic. I'm a therapist, so I just feel mm. everything. Um, yeah. And uh, put myself in the shoes of the um, the characters a little too much. So yeah. um, anyway, but well, yeah. You're so saying you're too human. Mm. Yeah. Is that the problem? Uh, yeah, that could be it. That could mm. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a curse to be I know. human. Mm. Yeah. To be normal. What a concept. Way to have a heart, Shelby. Yeah. Um, I I don't know, man. It's just uh it's the cross that I have to carry through this yeah. life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um anyway. Um yeah. So uh I feel like this last month has been the most that I've ever watched like yeah. horror, although I have a feeling um your usual uh, fan club would probably balk at some of my uh, choices this month. Not going to tell. That's okay. um, well, I've been doing a lot of Mike Flanagan, and let's see. Um, okay, you're you're doing well. The okay. Lord and Savior, Max Flanagan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lord and Savior. <laughs> Lord and Savior, absolutely. So, um, did Haunting of Hill House, and. Mm-hmm. Um, the fall of the house of usher which i realized is just scary succession um basically, and- <laughs> it's, basically. It's, basically. it's good <laughs> yeah. yeah um and i watched uh sus- oh um hold your breath um which is a new horror film on hulu mm. about the yeah. dust bowl and um suspiria which one um, oh the 1970 1970- Eight version. Thought I should start there. Um, oh God, I'm trying to remember what else. It's a lot for me. Okay, that's yeah. just a lot of intense. What did you think of Suspiria? I've I've only seen the new one. Oh, you've only seen the new one, huh? Yeah, okay. I, I just kind of I, I didn't like it. So you didn't like it? Oh, okay. Well, I don't. If you didn't like the new one, I don't think you're gonna like the uh, the first one no. either. No. <laughs> okay. no. no. Um, yeah, so, uh, Suspiria feels like it, it's trying to be really artsy, um, which I appreciate. I'm an art house girly. Mm-hmm. Um, I appreciate when you're trying to use, um, music and symbolism and things. And maybe that's what was happening, but it wasn't coming through. Um, there was an effective, like, use of music, I think, but... Um, I think the threat that the music was leading to um, uh, didn't really match the hype of the music, if that makes sense. Um, okay. And like again, the, the, the music was like so intense. Yeah, I'm like trying to remember what the tune was, but it was just like from the very beginning when nothing is happening. Um, and, you know, so I haven't seen like uh, the da, 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 shows yet, which I know is like sacrilege, but it's kind of like that. It's like mm-hmm. the 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 guy who made the show was trying to capitalize on that theme, um, but then used it at inappropriate times throughout the show. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah. and it never really built to anywhere. So, yeah. um, 
And uh, were there were there ballet dancers in your version, Steve? There were there were dancers of like they all kinds of dancing. Oh, um, like kind of modern dancing, like performative, like interpretive dance sort of thing. Okay, yeah. Um, so there was it was just ballet in the first mm. version, and um, they were really particular about food. Um, mm. Yeah. Uh, food, yeah, and um, fell ill, mm. like mm. just like breathe on them wrong, and uh, um, because they're little waifs of dancers, or very wafy, very wafy, yeah. um, <laughs> mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> like uh, I just felt like um, I don't know that the the two girls who were the ones kind of piecing together what was happening, um, like were really helpless. So they kept being like, "Yeah, this is bad," but instead of actually like doing anything about it until it was too late, like um, they just kind of were like, "Yeah, this is a problem. I guess I don't really like this very much." Um, and maybe that's normal for horror films. Like maybe that's a trope. But for me, I felt like that was. Just poor story writing, I guess. Um, no. I don't know how critical, you know, like, should this be, like... I just kind of want to know what you thought. Okay, yeah. that's cool. I didn't... Yeah. I'm really sorry if there's people out there who, like, really, really like it. Um, don't apologize. Here's the here's don't the don't apologize. apologize to them. Oh. Screw those guys. Yeah, okay. forget them. Okay. All right. Wow. The, I really the, or horror that. stuff is so broad and so different. I mean, Zach likes bad movies, and you know, I like good movies. It's just how it goes. Yeah. Wow, unbelievable! No. And I that's can't. okay. He can like bad movies. Well, he did make me watch. Oh, I forgot. He made dude, me you watch, watch Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Yeah, yeah, dude, that movie was banging. <laughs> yeah, that was trash. That was- I know. That's why it was banging. <laughs> that movie is so incredible. It's incredible yeah. how bad that movie is. But I could not stop. I didn't hit 10 seconds skip once. I could not take my eyes off it. Oh, see, I feel like I, you know, did my taxes and, you know, wrote a novel. Like, there's all this stuff that I did instead of, like. <laughs> wow. So you didn't even get the full experience of, of like, the Lucky Charms joke? Or... Uh, oh, no. I remember the Lucky Charms joke. I took notes. Yeah. The best line the maybe the best line in cinema history is when that kid shoots the gum wad uh yes. clover into yes. his mouth like and then the he melts like it's so crazy yeah okay crazy. it's very creative yeah yeah that's the highest form of praise i can offer that's what you're going for leprechaun yeah, yeah. mhm got it um can't believe that jennifer aniston got her her start. I think Steve, um, you mentioned like, uh, how did she book anything? Did she book after, anything after that? <laughs> after this movie, because th- I think this yeah. is pre Friends. She might yeah. have probably already yes. got like simultaneous gigs as like a new actress on the scene, maybe. But Friends yeah. definitely launched her into the stratosphere. Her career probably would have <laughs> taken a very different turn if she did not book anything after that. Yeah, because her acting wasn't even that good. I really think that the star of the show was that little boy. Like, he was the only one. <laughs> yeah, well, he's the adult He's the adult little boy, so he's... Yeah. Yeah. It was a bit problematic to walk around with the, uh, the guy that he was with. I don't know. The, is the child that guy's caretaker? Is, mm. is that his son? Is... Unclear. Unclear. Yeah. How did the t- how did this gr- full grown man come upon a child, and both of them are painters? Yeah, yeah. Because the relationship between the three of them wasn't clear. Um, and uh, no, I don't need, even there's no need for there's no need for character development when when you when you you put all of your energy into more just plot and the costume design and. Character I mean, development was not on the docket. Yeah, no, they spent it all on Warwick's uh, makeup. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which was f- phenomenal. I mean, yeah, yeah. and that knockoff Lucky Charms box. They yeah. all of that was they, that was where the money went instead. So they, absolutely. well, did they have to pay for 
to use the phrase Lucky Charms, but they couldn't afford to pay for the box. Is that how that works? That's, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Well, they went on to make four more movies, so. Yeah. I mean, couldn't have done that bad. <laughs> Number two is a terrible movie. Is it? I mean, they made, they made four more movies, but, I mean, Trump also got elected, so. <laughs> wow. Okay. I didn't know we were going you never know what's going to happen. Podcast, but I'm just saying. Wow. I'm just saying. You never know what's going to happen. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, great. All right. And well, isn't that the spirit of horror? Right. Happens. You just never right. know. I mean, they're both horror. Around the corner. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. like we're living in a horror movie, right? I'm going to put my mask on and pretend nothing happened. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I love it. It make make go. Zach Here. uncomfortable immediately by just like saying something political. This is for Mark because Mark won't stop whining in the comments about yeah, us not Mark. wearing costumes. Mm. I'm, ju- I'm just kidding, Governor. <laughs> governor. I'm also just kidding about that too. <laughs> like, I'm so hard. stupid. I'm so sorry. I love that you have a screen you- mask just on hand, Zach. That's yeah. great. I, I do. I have it right here. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, Steve, <clears throat> if you ever want to talk um, reality horror, I would be happy to to chat with you at any point so do you do you like like uh, like tell me so i my wife and i are like she's the very empathetic one i'm, I'm mm-hmm. i mean i can be empathetic if i care but um, oh okay so you're the psychopath then okay oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. great we we'll put labels on things um i uh <laughs> she well i just i just saw this uh, uh there's a sci show um on youtube Yes. Mm-hmm. They have, they also have like a PSY show, like a PS like psychology stuff. Yes. And they mm-hmm. did a, they did a, an episode, like five minute episode on why 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 people why some people watch horror, why some don't. Mm-hmm. And one of the aspects of people who don't watch it, they tend to be so empathetic, they ha- they have a hard time taking the the empathy for the people on the screen and disconnecting it from reality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like you said, they just feel too much. Like 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 the people on screen, and my my wife's like hundred percent. She totally like feels like we watched. I was a good husband, and I had her watch um, Midsummer, and um, that tore her heart out, and um, yeah. as it should. As it should. <laughs> but I I like I like get up and like oh cool, and my wife my daughter's like well let's go watch a four hour mo- video on you know on a uh, some Midsummer, mm-hmm. and my my son and my wife over there like this is like horrible, and. Yeah, it's like you're hungover. Right. And mm-hmm. um, so I just found that interesting. So, but do you, she, she likes like real life drama and like cri- like real life crime sort of things, but really more about cults and, and things like that, which depress me to no end. Yeah. Like just depressing. And she's like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Um, do you well, like I- stuff like that? Yeah. So it's funny. I think that what has led me to this point is um, getting into true crime, Mm. which I only started listening to when I became a therapist in 2022. Huh. Really? So, yeah. Isn't that weird? Um, (laughs) And when I've looked into um, why people like to watch true crime, um, it's, I think, for a similar reason why people like horror, uh, where um, it's like controlled adrenaline um it's a way to feel in control um and feel a sense of certainty or or confidence that if this were to happen to you um you could get yourself out of it um Hmm. and especially for women because a lot of a lot of women consume like true crime yeah i think there's a sense of like well if she got through it or if she didn't get through it right the victim um how could I have done it differently? How could I have protected myself? Mm-hmm. Um, but it was interesting as true crime is often told through a very cognitive way where um, through podcasts, right? Where people are talking about it in a very emotionally detached way mm-hmm. or um, in like documentaries on like Netflix mm-hmm. or TLC or whatever, right? It's right. told in a very like, reported way it's not so emotional whereas in a film um like midsommar right um that i mean um it's more immersive right yeah Yeah. all of your senses and um connecting with the character in a way um 
more intimately than you would um, through a more clinical representation of what happened. Right. right. It's also, I think, why reading horror is very different from mm. um, uh, watching it. Like I can do blood and gore when it's in a book, but I can't mm-hmm. really do it when I see it. And I think it's that that mm. extra element of sound and sight using those mm. senses that contributes to a more intense emotional response than just like, mm. does that make sense? Yes. If, yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We'll, sorry. we'll get you there, Shelby. Okay. We'll get you to, we'll get you to be able to watch. If you, if we'll get you to the point where you're completely desensitized and then terrifier one won't, it'll just seem like Alice. Don't Wonderland. do that to her. Don't do that to her. We will baby step it. It's fine. Okay. We'll okay. start I watched off with Terrifier Leprechaun. three last night. I know. And we'll talk about that in a second. We'll, yeah. We'll yeah. Um. We'll uh, start with Leprechaun, and <laughs> we'll get all of the ridiculous stuff out of the way. Okay. And then we'll start ramping up. We'll get also some depressive stuff in there because we want you to be as depressed as possible. We can defer to Steve's judgment on all of those movies because Steve's watched the he watches the worst stuff. Um. And then, and then. Like Midsommar and then Hereditary. Both of those movies are gems. They're five star movies, but they will send you into a riveting, a just a riveting amount of depression. Um, yeah. And yeah. then we will end with the uh, just the cherry on the top, which is when that chick gets sawed into in Terrifier One. I mean, it's just, it's freaking wild. And then. <laughs> Well, yeah, spoiler alert, she does. She gets sawed this, into, and then God, I'm just giving you a mo- an amuse bouche at this point. So, Shelby, as a <clears throat> as a therapist, mm-hmm. um, uh, is 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 uh, Zach being a friend right now? <laughs> it's the purest form of friendship to traumatize uh, as someone else. I it? mean, I feel like a little manipulated. Wow, <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm being so, gaslit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. My own podcast. What are you going to do? Okay. Me and Gaslit was going to be the second. <laughs> but yeah. Fine. Yeah. Or yeah. Stockholm so- Syndrome a little bit where like you're trying to make me feel like everything's fine when it's really not. And I don't know any better. Wow. So, Listen, just- I lo- this, is the, this is the problem is mm-hmm. that with these horror movies is that I just start taking notes. Okay. And, um, mm-hmm. you know. I don't want to do I, too too diligent note taking. If I if I took notes during true crime, it'd be I feel like call the cops maybe probably right. Yeah. But, um, right. Uh, sure. If I if I take notes on how to manipulate in on a horror movie, you know, I still am a psychopath, but I'll I'll stop talking. I'm incriminating myself. Yeah. So, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. And I was going to change the subject a bit. Oh, okay. that's fine. I mean, I'm still on the subject of why, like, Zach is able to watch it and is, is still somehow a good person. Um, because <laughs> dig into that. Let's get my own docu series up. <laughs> Call me Netflix. I just because I I do wonder about like for people who like that's all they watch, right? Um, I think I had a client once who was 14 years old and she was watch watching so much horror, and I was like, girl, like you're really young to be watching all this stuff right it's got to have some sort of impact on your like undeveloped prefrontal lobe right but right um i don't know two things can be true at the same time so um anyway so i i'm wondering if you have was wondering if you have watched enough horror to kind of get an idea of, of do you like um did, did like what kinds of horror you like um well i think leprechaun was enough for me to decide that i am uh team steve um <laughs> abandon. I did abandoned. I I have also watched Barbarian. That was the other one oh. where um I'm like this. How is do crap. you go from leprechaun to barbarian? What the heck? You need I, a you need a compass. Your compass is all screwy. <laughs> what the heck? That that wasn't my choice. That I someone else made me watch that. And um you, this is a safe space, Shelby. You can I say mean no you made me watch stuff. Leprechaun too. So that's, like I'm that's watching because it's a, Okay. We'll have this argument off camera. It's fine. Fine. I I feel like when I make choices about horror, I end up making choices that look more like Steve. Okay. Then then Zach. Okay. 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 
You guys blossomed so into a new okay. friendship, and I'm just the third wheel over here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good. I'm just going to crack open another seltzer and uh, have at it. Go ahead. Run okay. the show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to pickle Rick. <laughs> pickle Steve. Pickle Steve. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, make this you know, more Halloween y. I love that I look away in your normal Steve and then I look back in your pickle Steve. That's crazy. The transformation was amazing. Well, you know, I want to make, you know, make the people in the UK happy. That's what this podcast is really all about. Making people in the UK happy? What, what? Pip, pip, cheerio. Is that how you, you do it? I don't know. We got to, we got to get the comment going. I think we're, yeah. I think he probably left and went back to watching Terrifier Terrifier 3. Yeah. Yeah. Mark. I went, I went to all this pr- trouble. Mark did leave. Yeah. We're oh. technically right now, Steve and I are the only ones watching our live stream. That's fine. We'll deal with those issues in therapy. It's fine. It's fine. So, Shelby, have you seen Trapped? A trap? I mean, Trap, the new the Shyamalan movie? No. No, okay. I've not. I think I've seen Signs a long, okay. long time ago. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see uh, the, what, the first one, The Sixth Sense? No. Mm-mm. Really? Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what happens in that one? Uh, he sees dead people. <laughs> yeah. Then the main character is a, a therapist. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. Great. Don't I get spoiled on that one. Someone botch what therapy is and then deter people from coming to therapy because they think it's like what it is in the movies. Well, um, no, it's, he's very good in the movies. You know, he's, he's like, sure. Uh, it's kind of like a social worker thing because with the kid, it's more of a. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know, you have to watch it. I don't want to give it away. No, how no, no. That's a, a, I already know. There are already actually be if he doesn't even know he's dead. I mean, I oh, know. dude. She already Spoiled said thing. people are dead. I said it. I knew it. It's she fine. knew oh, it the oh. whole time. Well, I knew that the, the kids saw dead people, but I didn't know if you knew that the guy was dead. I did. Fortunately, you know, and I don't know how I found that out. I think it's because my husband watches a lot of YouTube. And so I just find out a lot of stuff vicariously yeah. through video essays, you know? So a lot of stuff has already been spoiled for me, which is fine. Because mm-hmm. at the time I told myself that I didn't, I didn't care about spoilers because I'll never watch these things. And yet here I am watching them and mm. feeling spoiled, but. Um, it's a pickle it's- mark. He said Paddington P. <laughs> Dude. You definitely, it's a Paddington P, hundred percent. That's what that's what he is. Good one, Mark. That's a good one. Yeah, it's better. Uh, Steve, it's cool that you're wearing um, the pickle costume, though, because that tells me that you have Zach's sense of humor somewhere in you. It just like doesn't. <laughs> Maybe it <laughs> doesn't apply with with horror. I don't know. Do you watch other forms of comedy? Um, I I love comedy stuff. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I mean my name is Steve Martin. Live taping. So I had and, to. And his name is Steve Martin. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I um. I, yeah. I love, I love comedy stuff. I uh. I I. I actually did not ever watch horror until. Like some pretty like rough stuff happened in my life, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. I'm like, life is nothing. <laughs> it's like oh. it's like I like dove into the darkness of things, and I'm like, this is kind of fun. <laughs> mm. That so, nihilism. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Is there some? But now, uh, now I'm a sunny nihilist. Like <laughs> nothing like matters, everything's promo. pointless. So let's have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that's a good way to be. That's another thing. I didn't realize I was going to bring so much therapy to this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> live but you know two things can be true at the same time right it's not either or it's but and and so um <laughs> we need we need a uh um a therapy with with shelby clip we need we definitely need a song if we have therapy with zach we need a therapy with shelby clip yeah 100 <laughs> percent. steve you gotta get on that <laughs> yeah he's the, he's the music man over there dude and i'm full of great sound effects so you know maybe i can I make you a little song i'm um, well, um, it's therapy with Zach. It's therapy with Zach. It's therapy with Zach. Oh. Yep, amazing. We, I can, we can do that for you too, though, Shelby. Amazing. Make it a recurring, a recurring, uh, 
<laughs> segment of our show. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, this is getting hot. <laughs> yeah. That was beautiful. Your pee, oh, your pee costume is definitely getting hot. A pee costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Um. Anyway. Um. Well, it was really great chatting with yeah, you. Yeah. Thanks guys. for being on. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Um. Let me know if you need any more help getting through uh your live. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Happy you Halloween, everybody. Like yeah, happy Halloween on, on staff. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. Do you have any plans? Are you gonna watch anything fun this evening? Um. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can talk my wife into watching something slightly scary. Um, but I don't. I think it's. Pro- I'm, I'm kind of like at the edge of like m- the marital boundaries of what I've already put her through. <laughs> so, mm, okay. Yeah. You're, like, you're working the Halloween movie. of the month, right? Yeah. So yeah. I think long, long. Is it long legs tonight? Is that is that what you're gonna make her watch? <laughs> I already made it last time. Oh, then okay. <laughs> I, I, I last night I'm like, let's watch a uh, Halloween movie tomorrow. She's like, something really scary. Like, um, how about Hocus Pocus? <laughs> there you go. Just Whoa. <laughs> um okay well uh okay okay so can i clarify so you're watching long legs this evening is that what you're watching or are you watching something else are you Uh, i'm not okay i still want to know more about your wife's like spectrum of horror then like what's the scariest thing that she's watched my wife Mm -hmm. she's watched a lot of scary stuff but um it since it's due to steve's traumatizing her (laughs) okay well, it's not it's willing. Happened, like, it's not willing. So Steve holds I was her diagnosed. down. It's like, you're going to watch this. Holds her eyes open. Okay. Before, before, so I was diagnosed with like a couple of neurodegenerative degenerative things. Mm-hmm. And so when that happened, that's when like I, I got into the horror and she like suddenly like horror was too real for her. And she's like out of the horror. So mm. she used to watch scarier stuff than I did. Weird. And it's like been swapped now. And she just uh, can't do the, mm. do the horror stuff. Weird. And her loss, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> but okay that's so yeah. interesting and i was just she likes to... like she likes okay. a lot of like low-key horror stuff but it has to have a happy ending what so. what what checks those boxes well the others i don't know if okay. you've seen that one you'll you'd probably like that um okay. uh stuff stuff i don't know stuff like that and like she loves like comedy stuff like tucker and dale versus evil oh, which is fantastic one of, the, one of the best movies yeah one of the best movies that's great that should okay. be your next watch. It it'll mm-hmm. redeem Leprechaun. Yes, because it is it is similarly stupid, but it's done in a significantly better way. I yep. I don't know if I can keep I don't know if I can keep track because I haven't seen Midsummer and I feel bad about that. I haven't seen Long Legs. I haven't seen Terrifier one, two, or three. I haven't seen any of the Scream movies. I haven't seen anything related to Michael Myers or um, you've got you got the rest of your life. Do, do yeah. I? Do I know? Yeah. You don't know that. And Life t- is short. And tonight. Well, I, I, the rest of your life doesn't I mean it could be ten minutes from now, but you still got the rest of your life. It's a true. Okay. It's a true point. You know. All yeah. right. I mean, valid. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to watch Sleepy Hollow this evening, which is <clears throat> oh, that's a good one. I don't know how I haven't seen that, and I know that's more like like cottage core mm-hmm. spooky. It's not really that scary, but I don't care. Yeah. Um, good. All that's right. Cool. Great movie. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad to watch something good. <laughs> so, yeah. um, well, get on hold your breath at some point. I'm curious to see what you guys think of that. Yeah. Um, and um, maybe uh, while I'm gone, y'all can make a list of what movies you think every weenie from Weenie Hut. Like a good General, beginner. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like a horror weenie from Weenie Hut General uh, <clears throat> needs to watch before they die yeah. in ten minutes. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. We can do it. We got I it. hope you don't <laughs> die. In, you're not gonna die in ten minutes. Let's. I, yeah. I mean, probably not. But I don't know. I'll, I'll call you back in ten minutes to let you know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um. Anyway, sorry. I've t- I was only supposed to be here for ten minutes, and it's been like twenty minutes. So I really apologize. It's fine. Right. Miles Miles bailed on us because he's a loser. So. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't even know why, but I'm just gonna immediately <laughs> assume okay. that it's not an emergency, so I don't feel bad about that. Okay. I don't know. It's not. Though. <laughs> okay, well, then, loser, whatever, get the heck out of here. We don't want you anyway. Yeah, clearly missing out. And I had the best time. So, thank you guys. Um, yep. Congratulations on your amazing show um, and making so a weenie like me enjoy something I thought I would never enjoy through just being you guys. Okay. Our work is done. Awesome. Yeah. Your work is done. All right. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Okay. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Oh, well, then I have to figure out how to get out of here, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Awesome. clears throat> 
I got a few more people watching. Cool. So trap sucks. Um, trap sucks. <laughs> yeah. I, so okay, back to trap. We were talking about trap. I'll make this quick because um, we're not. I don't want to take up all the time. But there, it's just okay. I know it's a movie. Mm-hmm. I know it's fake. It's just so so un, unreal un, unrealistic, just in every way, shape, and form. Yeah. Um. Like first of all. The show is is so freaking Shyamalan. It's making me crazy. Yeah. If you don't know what the, I mean by that, just, you know, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, he's never heard a real person talk. I don't think ever in his life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the dialogue is bad. And I don't know why everybody's so j- happy to have Josh Hartnett back in the movies because he's not a good actor. Uh, if he if he is a good actor, he's being really directed poorly. And I know that can be either way. I know that sometimes it's the director yeah. can like really hose things up. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I started to say I saw a, a article about I'm like who's this singer and so I looked it up it's his daughter Shaman's the actor, daughter the Shaman's yeah. daughter and the title of the article said how did she get a jo- uh, the spot in the movie I'm like what kind of a dumb nepotism. question is that like the article could be say just say nepotism yeah and she was good but I mean anyway it's just so unbelievable Um, she got the phone and she didn't call the cops yeah. She she goes on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, come on, that was her idea. Yeah, well, you also put yourself in the in the shoes of of, of a pop star. She's going to she was she wanted to specifically find that house, so she was like, "Let's find the house." Sure, but she and they're going to be able to find it faster. There, honestly, I gave her credit for that because her fans are more devoted. Honest to God. Her fans are more devoted than the cops are going to be in this particular moment. True. The cops, the 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 cops are going to do their job, but I feel like the wheel might grind a whole lot slower than if a pop star is like, "Hey, I need you to do X, Y, Z." People are going to drop everything, full U turn in their car, and go do it. Um, mm-hmm. and I, I mean, I get that. She should have still called the cops. And I think that she <clears throat> technically did, but it wasn't initially. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I know I, I try to suspend like believability or reality, whatever you say. Um, the thing, but, the, the part that lost me was when that got, so first off his, the dad's dialogue, like the way that he spoke was, that was the thing that bothered me the most. Yeah. It's like, oh. I, dude, I, brother, I saw you in Oppenheimer and you were fantastic. And then I, then the next movie I see you in is this one. And it was like he was playing a dad mm-hmm. and not somebody uh, like of a stepchild <laughs> and had no emotional attachment in the dialogue in the way that he was talking to him actually being a dad that, that he is like his, his acting ability was just off in that. And it could have been the direction, but the, the, the one specific scene that I, that I stopped fully enjoying the movie, any semblance of enjoyment was gone was when that other singer came out of the floor and he's looking down in the floor hole and he looks at his daughter and is like, Hey, I know you want to be at this concert, but wouldn't it be cool to go down there? And I was like, yeah. no, nope, I'm done. I'm nobody out. Nobody says that kind of thing. Cause nobody like, why would you also the fact that he spent way too much time, not in the concert. Yeah. Wait, like, it was I I'm I, I'm not on board with the one star. I'm definitely on board with this. Feels like a Shyamalan project because Shyamalan has built a name for himself. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah it it doesn't it doesn't feel like classic Shyamalan. It feels this movie felt. Uh, so he's trying to do something different. Canned, it felt canned 
Like, a, like it mm. felt canned Shyam- Like It felt like somebody else was making a Shyamalan movie. Hmm. And, but also maybe he, maybe he did. Maybe he just lost his spark and, um, you know, the devil only made him do, or only gave him enough power to <clears> do <throat> so many movies. And then that was it. He has to go back to the crossroads. I guess he's got to go back to the crossroads. Yeah. Yeah. One star is a pretty thing. bold move though. Well, I mean, it's a crap movie. Wow. Okay. Um, the, uh, and so I, I've, like I said, a lots more stuff and I'll, I'll go over it maybe sometime other, but, um, <clears throat> yeah. I, uh, the, th- and the thing that just like, I almost just threw my uh, computer across the room. I, uh, when <laughs> she pretend they're in the car, uh, and in the garage w- and he, when he's like taking her out, oh, like in the, take her out of the house or whatever. Yeah. Um, and she starts pretending to be his mom and that worked. I, I viewed it as just the psychological, like she was tapping into some psychology because she probably was trained on on some level. Um, as a singer, she was probably trained on some level by the uh, by that specialist that they brought oh, in. Oh yeah, and so she's probably using some. T- uh, they don't explain that. I am grasping for straws with that, but I gave it. It felt weird, but I gave it grace because I went, this is how I would explain that. But you don't get to see any of that training. You just hear about it several times throughout the the movie that they brought in this, you know, yep. person. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't believe it. I don't like it. That's fine. It did feel odd. Yeah. It did feel odd. So, I mean, I don't want to grab about Trap the entire time. No, but... let's talk about Terrifier 3 now. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I only want to talk about this movie. Because, okay, there are there are two movies. I mean, we, we can talk about Terrifier 3 if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. I don't know how much more time we have. I mean, technically, we only have like 13 more minutes before. We'll see, if it, we'll see how long it lets us go. They might cut us off. Um, but... Yeah, there are two movies that I didn't think were that bad after I watched them. And both of them shocked me. The first one was Terrifier 3. I was going into this movie going, I'm I'm curious about where they're going to go. I I know that curiosity kills the cat, but I... And I don't, I don't expect it be this great movie, but I found myself not, I found myself like enthralled with it somehow. Like I Mm -hmm. kind of slightly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Um, The other one was a movie that I watched today from the marathon that I've been doing. And that was Winnie the Pooh, blood and honey Two. shocked. It, like I laughed maniacally really? out loud, like a crazy person out loud because I, I could not believe how much I genuinely enjoyed this movie. Huh? Crazy to me. Anyway, that one, that one surprised me a whole lot more than terrifier. Um, yeah, but I would like to hear your thoughts now that you've seen three. I would like to hear your thoughts on <clears throat> one, three. Okay, so <clears throat> I thought you know after the after the, the movie finally got to the plot, uh, you know, like a third of the way through, uh, <laughs> it had a better plot. Um, huh? but like so, just speaking plot line plot line wise, it had a better plot, but <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the ending with like all the like the sort of pseudo magical stuff, and like suddenly there's a pit to hell and all this. This seems kind of out of the blue, right? Okay, it's like they're like, oh, we need to make this like a big thing, and like, oh, let's like, I don't know, retcon some lore into the thing, and suddenly it's demons and whatever. And I mean, I, I guess it kind of I mean, explains how art could have come back from the dead after one and after two. Um, <clears throat> so I guess it it's fine. You know, it it's it's fine. Um, okay. But 
the uh i just i watched this movie last night and i went and i don't know it, it just made it just made me feel bad <laughs> mm. I, just, I don't know i there's like at one point i think i texted you i'm like this is just so over the top it's like ridiculous yeah so i was like trying to watch it as like point. Yeah, I know. I I think it's just like I think I was I was trying to watch it as though it was kind of ridiculous, kind of like, yeah. Um, what was that movie? The um, Dead Again, not Dead Again. Uh, the one that was with um, it was by Peter Jackson. Uh, Dead ones. Alive. Dead Alive. That's what it is. Like that one is just over the top, like blood yeah. shooting everywhere, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's bonkers. It's really, yeah, right. But. Terrifier the movie is seem it's like they're trying to make you think it's a serious thrash a th- a slasher movie, but they're so over the top that it's it's kind of a parody of itself. Yeah. Um, which I again I, I get that's kind of the point, but I was having a hard time putting my brain into goofy mode when a dude gets sawed from his his nads up, you know, on the ground. That's that's what that that's the scene is just like like whoa that's just that that shower thing uh huh that was that was a lot that was it, a lot yeah it wasn't and, it was not as bad <clears throat> as everything else that we've seen because that was one of the things that I that I heard going in is that there's no one particular scene that is the equivalent of the hacksaw scene in in the first one or the bedroom scene in the second one. But the the entire thing is this just wacky. Um, I don't want to say gore fest, but kind yeah, of. It and it, but it also, I also like heard Damien in a, in in an interview go, "I'm kind of done with that. Mm-hmm. Like we're gonna go in a different. Like people don't necessarily want that anymore." Like we did it to get the name out there, but now that we have kind of established ourselves, I guess, then we're going to make more movies like Terrifier Three, where it's like the totality of it is is gory versus one specific scene. We're gonna put pour all of the budget in. Um, they got a heck of a budget for number four. Let me tell you right yeah. now. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, that 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 uh. It was more like consistently like gross across the the the, the whole thing, yeah. Um, and and then the the rats thing down the mom's throat was kind of yeah much. Okay, so that was that was actually the scene that made um what the heck David Harden Horton David uh, almost threw up. So really? apparently in in like a Comic Con style panel, mm-hmm. he admitted. Everyone knows that he doesn't like vomit. Mm. And apparently the Damien made the actress like uh, through a nozzle or whatever, throw up as he was hitting the, that. Oh, like in actuality. No, like not made her throw up like fake vomit. Oh, okay. And uh, it's basically kind of a blink and you miss it kind of thing because mm. he's hitting that thing down her throat and there is this all of its blood kind of just coming up and whatnot. But then there's this other substance that I saw right at the base, like right at her mouth. I was like, what is that? Then I watched this interview and went, oh, they made her throw up. Oh, okay. And... Which I thought was an interesting choice because they didn't kind of need to do that, but apparently, like that was he. He also said like the temperature in the house was overly hot, and like the smell wasn't great because the the uh, whoever the who, who's playing the actress in the in this Sienna whoever yeah. Sienna is was eating some like corn nuts or something like that, so that smell was in the air. And like he said that the, 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 basically the, the stars kind of lined up for him to almost throw up, but it is a good headline for you to be like, Ooh, what's this scene? Right. It wasn't anything major. It was kind of a lackluster reveal. I felt like, um, but only because my mind was thinking, Oh, they're, they're going to try to top something gross. And they went right. to a level of 
They they really didn't. But well, it made me think of the um when he when they took the cloth off and there was a cage and there was a head inside the cage and the rats were eating on the head. Yeah, I immediately thought of uh, ni- the book 1984 uh, about Big Brother and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Because it, in the book, um, I've never I don't think I've ever seen it the the movie that that's been out of that. But in the book, the the main character is kind of resisting the government and they catch him. And to get him to talk, um, they put his head in a cage and um, put hungry rats in the in in the cage to eat his face yeah. off, basically. And it's gross. <laughs> And apparently that's like something that actually they people did uh back in the uh, the olden days back in the olden days yeah <clears throat> yeah the times of your yeah yeah but and so I, what I, I would kinda, you what I would you rate with, I, I would give it two stars oh wow two I think. stars yeah i struggle with those with the terrifier movies specifically because they're just but they're just so 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 bad so gross and <laughs> We, you know, I've joked often, like, Damien, please, can you go to the therapist instead of making the movie? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's brutal, man. It brutal. Is, it is kind of brutal. I, well, I forget, what did I, what did I rate this movie? Three. It is kind of, yeah, it's not mid. I can see that. But I, I did enjoy it. I did rate Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2 a four-star movie. Really? I, I... <laughs> And your, enjoy- your letterbox didn't blow up? <laughs> I, yeah, I was so shocked that like I got to the end of this movie. I didn't hit the 10 second skip button at all. And okay. I at one point I think I paused it and I went like they they really have a story here. They they really thought this through and they <laughs> now the ending the there is a twist ish at the end of this movie um i won't reveal it because i do want you to keep watching yeah. the universe um but uh yeah it's it's a decent it's not a bad movie i have the feeling that you and i are going to go very very opposite on it though if we went kind of very <laughs> if we went similarly opposite on on terrifier three the okay what made me I saw in Terrifier 3 what other people saw in Terrifier 1 and 2 that I don't see in 1 and 2. They're like, oh, Mm -hmm. this is – like they kind of looked past the gore of it and just went like – like they liked the lore. They liked Art the Clown. I enjoyed Art's character in 3. And it might have just been – it might have just been him freezing. He did have more of a character. Like freezing Santa's face off and then ripping his beard. Yeah. Like I was like, oh dang. And then him, spoiler alert, he blew up those freaking kids in the mall. <laughs> like, I I could not believe that. <laughs> well, I mean crazy. The very dude. first the very first kill of the movie yeah. is him chopping up a child. I mean, technically, yeah. They didn't show anything. The very, but... the very first kill is a child, technically. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like everybody, everybody needs to go to more therapy. Oh wow! It it, it is. You did mm. see it in the sense, like you, they did reveal him laying in his bed, and the mom freaked out. Um, and all the parts of him everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because oh. I think that I, it, they they really went there in a pretty big way. Um, yeah, because everybody, that was everybody's, uh, hesitation was, is, is our, it was based on the teaser. Is art going right. to kill kids? The answer is yeah. 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 He's going to kill kids. But I, I, I actually laughed. I actually laughed out loud when those kids in the mall blew up. I laughed out loud and that might say way more about me than I wanted to, but I remember hit, like, I remember like i i don't know man i just i laughed i thought it was funny well it, it's I'm like uh, freaking we, we, stupid we kids stupid kids opening the presents we laughed for a lot of different reasons yeah it's like <laughs> mommy what did i get or, he rips you know. the top off and he explodes and i laughed really hard i thought it was funny well you know if 
if there's a horror movie and they they kill a kid in the movie, all all bets are off at that point because that's like the I worst mean, thing you can do. It is the worst thing that you can do. I did have an adverse effect when uh, in the Vavitch when they uh, guacamole oh, baby. that baby. <laughs> like when she freaking mortar and pestled that baby, I was like, "Oh no, time out, stop!" But I did laugh actually out loud when those kids in the mobile were. And so I, it's I contain. It was kind of a goofier thing. Yeah. I'm. It was very over the top, and it's also something that you don't think that they're gonna do. It was also very out of left field, and I could, I did. It's not real. <laughs> like right, right, right. By this point, I I fully am like, yeah, it's not real. And you don't see any body parts flying anywhere. It was clearly like a very controlled, obviously, explosion. There was no um they didn't, I don't feel like they put any dummies in there, but because they didn't see anything other than just fire and explosion. Um it was still I don't know. I don't know why I laughed, because it's not funny. But also, it's funny. Like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, anyway. Boy. Well, what else have you been watching? Uh, well, that's uh, let's let's pull that up. I go into lists and Halloween. So I I still have not watched As Above, So Below. Okay, still have not watched that. I need I need to get on that. I still have not watched New Nightmare. I still need to watch that. Part of me slightly doesn't care about those movies, so I might, mm-hmm. I may or may not watch them. Uh, I did watch uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. That right. movie is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. Um, it's pretty dope. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not, a, it's not an Oscar movie. Okay. It's not a good movie, but you enjoyed it. It was entertaining. It's not a good movie, but mm-hmm. I did enjoy it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Imaginary mm-hmm. was a suck fest. That was the movie that I, that was when I said I almost watched three movies. Imaginary is genuinely, I, I, I cannot believe that that movie got made. And I genuinely really? hope all of the actors and crew members in that movie never work again. Um, Whoa. What I <laughs> <It's a> tense <laughs> terrible Jason Blum needs to have bowel problems for the rest of his life. I oh. I I hope that he sharts in a board. Oh meeting. man, that's brutal. <laughs> Listen, don't don't act like in the last recording session you said something not as crass, but very similar about uh Blumhouse movies. Oh yeah, they're all bad. Yeah, that's what but I'm I mean, saying. Like, like, keep trying. I mean, I don't want yeah, to not work. You should again. <laughs> keep trying. Maybe, maybe all of the money that they wanted to spend on Imaginary is going to get put in uh, uh, M3 Gen 2. I don't know. Um, and uh, I have not watched Child's Play 3 yet. I did watch Azrael. Azrael? That movie is wild. Yeah, and, it is. And, I saw that and too. intense. Like, yes. There was a part in there where she like basically got buried alive. Yeah. And I had to pause it several times because I was my chest was tight. Really? There's there I don't I I don't well, you do like, have empathy. I don't like those movies. Or I don't yeah. So th- there's a movie that Ryan Reynolds is in. This is my first yes. experience with it. It's called Buried. And that movie unlocked <clears throat> this fear that I have. Yep, and, and then I watched Kill Bill, oh. and she gets buried alive in that movie. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't like that at all. And Kill Bill is amazing. Um, yep. and then then there's this movie, and I did not like it. Like again, I had to get up and walk around. I had like while it was playing, I had to like distract myself and like Zach, just get through it. Don't don't 10 second. Wow. Just keep going through it. But I was genuinely having a panic attack. Um wow, dude. It was a it was a it was a really shockingly good movie. I <laughs> I don't know why I doubted it, but still it was it was a 
it wasn't as high as I wanted it to be, but it was it was still pretty good. I was worried that the that in Azrael that the 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 premise was too stupid. You know, like everybody I, I thought it was set up the setup was that it's after the you know the uh oh, the the, the uh, rapture. Yes. And that nobody could talk. But yeah. that's not what it was. Because there are people could talk, but they just have been cutting out their voice boxes because this cult or whatever mm-hmm. thinks that that's what's caused the sins of the people to leave them on the earth or whatever. So right. that made more sense because cults can do some wacko, wacko things. Uh-huh. Um, but, um, but yeah, I thought it was, it was very, very well done. Yeah. Like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't as high on my list as I, like, as far as the ratings were concerned, as I wanted it to be. Um, but it was still a, a, a very, a very good. And Samara Weaving just nailed it. You nailed know, it. Not talking the whole time. She yeah. did fantastic. She's good. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that now, now basically that's the end. I am going to continue watching Child's Play 3. Like, I'm probably going to go into November. And there'll be, I, I think there'll be some, like, Thanksgiving horror movies. I like to do that in November, too. And, and December, yeah. like, the Christmas horror movies. Uh, David Howard Thornton apparently was the Grinch in the movie The Mean One. Hmm. So I'm going to watch The Mean One. I heard that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there are some good. I shouldn't say there are good Thanksgiving horror movies. There are bad Thanksgiving horror movies, and I will watch them. Yeah. And then there are also bad Christmas horror movies, and I will watch them, too. Because, um, you know, you have to. Because you're, you yeah, know, you have to. Huh? Your job yeah. now, right? It's my job now, exactly. Yeah. So that that was all I. That was actually technically the end, both the end of. I kind of killed two birds with one stone there. That's the end of. Um. The movie marathon, but also <laughs> what I watched this week. So. Yeah, I, I I've watched Trap and Azrael and um, Terrifier Three, as mentioned. And then I watched Trick or Treat, which I, which is just a, a great trick or treat, trick or treat, a trick or treat, a good little anthology thing. And uh, I think I watched I watched Woman, Woman of the Hour. I don't know if I watched that since we last talked, but um, no, no, that's literally good. on my on my list to watch Woman of the Hour. Yeah, um, creepy, but in a very good way. Mm. Uh, you know, it, 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 you get to when you get into things like that that are real and like historic. Um, but I will say Anna Kendrick is a she's a fantastic actress for one, but she's also a fantastic director apparently. So it's good. Very impressed with her stuff. <clears throat> yeah, and I, I haven't really had a chance to watch much else. Um, a couple of things of Dexter, but you know, that's about it. Yeah. But yeah. Let's see something else is going on. You had a couple of bits of news too before we wrap up. Yeah. What is Heart Eyes? So I saw this trailer today um, from Sony uh, for a movie called Heart Eyes. And let me tell you right now, I was hooked immediately. Like, it's apparently like this Valentine's Day Hmm. horror movie. And this guy has a person, I don't know who they are, has a mask on that has heart eyes. And it... It reminded me of Scream, and it says it's produced by the same producers of Scream. Yeah, I think that it's gonna. I don't think that it. I don't. I'm gonna reserve judgment. I don't know if it's gonna be the best thing ever, but I think it's gonna be a pretty awesome. There were a couple kills in the, in the, uh, in the trailer that I thought were pretty great. So, mm. yeah. And you're and uh, you're gonna go see Heretic. Get that planned. I do. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna go see Heretic. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm really excited about that. Brad and I had lunch the other the other day, and I'm like, dude, nice. we should go. We should go see. We should go see Heretic. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm. There's a. I'm really looking forward to that one. Mm-hmm. And uh, apparently, I'm um, on the A24 store. You can get the blueberry candle that they have there. And that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I heard that they were gonna pump that smell through like a a, a specific theater. Like really? They were going to have an early screening of it. And they were going to they were going to pump that smell through the theater, which was pretty cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't I don't think that I think that it's cool that they're doing stuff like that, but because I haven't seen the movie, I don't really have any emotional attachment to any of that marketing. Mm -hmm. So I it's it, like I said, it's cool that they have that they're going to do that, but I don't know why because I haven't seen the movie. I don't know what importance other than Hugh Grant's character lights it or bakes a pie or what lights this candle or like, well, I don't know. Again, I don't I, have I like any from the trailer. They, yeah, they were uh, like, he's talking about his wife baking a pie and they realize it's just the candle. So that's like at that point, that's when they realize it's all a lie or something. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Well, but anyway, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of really good ones coming out that, that look um, like, uh, one called The Damned looks really good. Mm. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for that, I've not recently seen the came out. That. Uh, it, it it's a kind of a folk horror thing that's like 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 they're on an island and some things wash up on the shore sort of deal. Um, and then I watched a trailer for Presence, a new, a new neon movie. I a don't. I, I just before we were start recording, I watched the trailer for that. Because they they had like a teaser for it, and it, mm -hmm. they just put out the trailer for it, and it feels. I mean, they're not giving anything away. I don't know how they're they're writing this, but I'm still no. in very intrigued by um what's going to happen. Yeah, in, in presence. Yeah. Speaking of. Uh, uh marketing yep dude smile too oh that made I, me mad i know <laughs> i know but go ahead got all i thought i thought this is genius okay i saw today uh on twitter that you could watch the first 7 minutes of uh smile too but you had to be smiling the entire time. Right. And I went, no way. There's no way. That would be crazy. Clicked on the link, opened up the article, clicked on the new link for Paramount Pictures or whatever it was. Right. And it was like, we need access to your camera. And I was like, yes. And I popped the camera. And I started smiling, and the trailer started playing, and I was, and then I stopped smiling, and the trailer stopped, and I was like, "This is genius." My cheeks hurt a lot because, because <laughs> uh, smiling for seven minutes is wild. I don't know how those actors are doing nope. it for an entire baseball game. That's crazy. Um, but I thought that this was on top. But on top of that, the first seven minutes was amazing crazy yeah amazing it was it was amazing it, it did make me want to immediately buy a ticket and i need to go see this movie like so the marketing yep. is doing its job they're making their money and it's yeah 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 what so what bothered like you the, about it i didn't like having the permission to for my camera to a website yeah. okay and there's no like privacy listings i'm like what are they gonna do with this you know i'm on the toilet right now I want to be, you know, smiling on the toilet and have it show up like in a in a commercial. Listen, I th I would like that a lot. <laughs> I I would like to be seeing a commercial for a horror movie, and they rope people into this. Not me, just to be clear. <laughs> other people, yeah. not me, not other you, people. not me. And not you. some of them are just on the toilet. <clears throat> I think it'd be really funny. Because they often will show those like while they're showing the movie on in a theater, they'll show like the audience reaction to a scene or whatever the case is. I think it'd be really funny if at some point you just this this level marketing and someone's just watching on the can. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, it's never gonna happen, but I think it'd be funny. So <laughs> toilets are always funny. Yeah, and that's where you watch stuff. Come on. I mean, it's where the well, majority of people watch everything. Right. Where else if you're getting else? a text message from a friend, they're probably on the toilet. Yeah, yeah. 
the chances are that they're I mean, I will wait until I I will wait to text you until I go to the toilet and sit down. And then I'll, you know, that's crazy because we text yeah. the whole day. So that means that like, yeah, you're on the, you're on the John all day. Wow. Yeah. Got some toilet marks on my butt. Won't oh, go my away. gosh. OK. Well, yeah. Great. I love that. That, you that, asked- that made me uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> that was the line for me, apparently. And there's one. Uh, you have the one more thing. Stu is alive. What's what's this? Stu. Who's Stu? I'm blown away. Stu Mocker. Okay. From Stu Mocker? the original Scream movie. Oh. Yes. Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard went on the Drew Barrymore show and okay. not alluded to, but actually said Stu Mocker is alive. Now, I've been team Stu is alive for a long time. Really? But yes. Listen, he got a TV dropped on his head. That's it. He didn't get stabbed? He, I think he did because they were trying to, but he got it stabbed in the stomach. So it's a, it's a fake. Oh, because they're trying to make it look like, right. They're, they're trying to make it look like. And so he, he got stabbed in the stomach and in a screen movie. Getting stabbed in the stomach is just a flesh wound. It's not, right. it, not, there's no vital organs in the abdomen in any of anybody in the screen movie. Um, and so, yeah, but the fact that he genuinely confirmed that now, if they, I am setting myself up for massive disappointment and failure because Courtney Cox is back for the next one. Really? Um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is her name? Why am I blanking on Sydney Prescott's name? Oh, I don't know. I know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't oh know. Oh my gosh. Name. Yeah. Sydney Prescott's back. Uh, Patrick Dempsey's back. Mm. So, come on, huh? Matthew Lillard, ultimate ghost face. Come on, it'd be great. Well, well, when's that coming out? I don't know. Not anytime soon, probably. I think they're they might they. I don't know if they're filming this year. I think they're filming next year. So probably twenty six, and it's gonna bother me. Well, we'll have to. I think you'll be okay until then. I'll wait. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering, uh, look, we want to close out by uh, recommending a movie. Um, I didn't touch about this. <laughs> Great. Would you, let's close out. Rec- recommend each of us recommend a movie that somebody should watch on Halloween. Mm. Okay. So dig deep, dig deep. I have to do right. some sorting here. I have I have my movie. Okay. Tell us about it. Okay. It's it's a um it's really just uh it's the movie Halloween. Oh, like part part of me part of me wants to recommend Trick or Treat. Which which Halloween? The original, the first okay. one. Okay. Part of me wants to recommend Trick or Treat. That is a great movie. Um, but I think I really just I gotta go, I gotta go classic, especially since I'm on the on the spot here. That's a great I think that's a great Halloween movie. It's called Halloween, but you know, also it's right. a great Halloween movie. And if that's a yeah. dud, blame Steve because he didn't prep me for this. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I didn't prep myself either. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I Wait, Beetlejuice um, is good. Beetlejuice is also yeah. a good a good selection. You know, I uh, if, if it's on Halloween, I I what you the one you almost said was trick or treat. I would totally recommend that to a lot of yeah. people because even even kind of beginner ish because it's it's got it's got the tropes you know yep. that are, are there, but it's it's funny you know it's 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 goofy and um. It's got a little bit of gore for people who like the gore, and it's it's like short chunks of stories. So it's it's a great movie to watch when you are having to get up off the couch and you know give candy to the kids that, that are coming by. Um, right. And so it's a it's like you don't have to pay super good attention to it. If you miss something, no big deal. Right. Um, but it's also a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not gonna like ruin your day. If you want some of those? <laughs> you know, watch things like long legs or something <laughs> right that's like really... that's another good recommendation yeah men a, a late night with the devil is a is a pretty good 
I think yeah. it's a pretty good. L- just when I'm thinking about these, I'm thinking lights off, like the classic lights mm. off. Okay. Uh, nothing but the TV glow <clears throat> and some some popcorn, real butter. Yep. Real salt, <laughs> like, and you just are going to town with with that, and then a little MSG. I, of course, come on. Yeah. And Special then. Salt. Yeah, and then any 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 of those movies, yeah, would be would be pretty great. Not imaginary. Don't watch that one. It's a terrible movie. Yes, that's, yes. I will. I I will believe you. Yeah. So great. Well, it's been fun, Zach. This has this has been fun. Um, and uh, I'm I'm excited that we were able to do this. And I hope that this launches us into the stratosphere and we're able to maybe jump friend groups. I don't know. Um, yeah. That's all I got to say. Thank all you for right. thank you for watching. If, you, if you're watching this. It would quite a few people coming in and out. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, have a happy Halloween, Zach. Yes. Happy Halloween. All right, listeners. That's a wrap for another episode of Horrors Yet Unseen. Thanks for joining us. And we'd love for you to become part of the conversation. Just drop us a voicemail at 1216-202-5495 or email us at horrorsyetunseen at gmail.com. And keep up with the latest by following us on Instagram. That handle is at horrorsyetunseenpod. We'd also appreciate it if you like and review our show on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Your support means a lot to us. See you next time.